Hello everybody, and welcome back to Little Norton. Um, now we're on first day of midsummer, and all our grass fields uh, are ready to harvest. So we can cut those, well it says ready to harvest but ready to cut. But this one here, this one here, uh, these two, and we also have this one uh, is it the, yeah this one here uh, which we turned into grass if you remember uh, see all ready to harvest so uh, we're going to be doing that today firstly <coughs> um, but we are um, we're not going to make any more hay bales because well we've got a shed for them and we've only got a few oh, forwards, not backwards. Uh, we only have a few um, a few sheep, so and they just stand in there. So you can see we've got a, quite a few there. So um, all of the uh, grass today is going to be going for the towards the BGA. Now with the BGA um i have actually changed the silage bunker um i will show you which one i have we'll go down and see when i when i get there i'm not going to drive down there now but i will do when we need to i have this one um and the reason i got a different bunker because i was well i was thinking to myself um I really want to use course play. Now I have figured out course play and I figured out what the problem was with um, leveling the field, uh, the silo before. And it's because I was in, uh, in multiplayer mode playing on a server. Now, this is the other thing. I have taken, um, the game off the server. I'm still running seasons, obviously, as you can see. It's still the same save game, um, but I'm just playing in single player now. And you see all the cars have stopped? That is because they stopped for the sheep. And I'll just show you if any sheep come across. Let's see? Before all the cars go. Come on, come on, sheep, come across. But they have to be in the right place for them to stop. So that truck should slow down. So he slowed down and he went on his way. I told you I wasn't imagining it. <laughs> but yeah, I am playing in single player mode now. Not playing on a server. Uh, where am I going? Oh, Gone straight past the field I meant to be um, cutting. Yeah, that was uh, a bit too excited about showing you the sheep. Stop the uh, traffic, stop it for the sheep. I went past my field. But yeah, told you I wasn't imagining it and I wasn't going crazy. But um, yeah, the uh, well, there's another reason I'm actually playing on single player as well instead of on the server is because some of the functions I was using in course play do not work on multiplayer <coughs> and um, the, um, the, the the worker for uh, the silage leveling now that the uh, vehicle is meant to stop when the uh, when when player gets next to it with um, with a load, but it wasn't doing that. Come on, come on, but uh, unfold even. Turn up <clears throat> now, um, and I think that was the problem I was having before um, because. Well, there's lots of uh, 
other problems because I, I mean I did test it thoroughly in single player before I decided to use it on a test on a test map and it seemed to work pretty good and um, then as soon as I brought it into here I forgot to close that gate uh, it wouldn't it wouldn't uh, wouldn't work so I thought yeah the only thing to do is play single player that way no problem so that's what I'm doing because I, I do have a core only one core set up at the minute for the silage leveling I've got the Massey Ferguson down there um, but I haven't started it up yet obviously because yeah um, it still doesn't uh, doesn't stop when it's meant to <clears throat> But most of the time it does so I'll have um, I'll have to go down there when I take the first load down there because so, sometimes I have to start the course a couple of times before it works properly but sometimes it'll go um, and do what it's meant to do without any worries and then other times it'll it'll do like the, what I call the first run because when it's leveling the silage bunkers it goes up one lane then comes back and then goes down another lane so it does all four or five lanes but then when it gets back to start doing the first lane again it'll just start going round and round in a circle I don't know why it does that but um, if it does do that what I have to do is stop the driver uh, restart it and then it works fine <clears throat> but we shall see and it's the uh, the brand new version of course by I have I've uh, downloaded the latest version yesterday but uh, was it yesterday yesterday or Saturday and uh, yeah it seems to work okay now <clears throat> and there's another reason I wanted to start using cause play uh, start learning how to use cause play <coughs> excuse me throat's still a bit croaky um, and that's because well I'm going to start doing a different map not instead of this as well as this and um, it's a bigger map it's a four by map and it's well it's one that johnny recommended to me western australia so i've been uh setting stuff up on there with a little help from johnny this afternoon but it's still not ready to start playing one yet I still need to do some other things <clears throat> but uh, yeah what I'll do from now on is maybe one day a week on here and one day a week on Western Australia <laughs> But we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, on here really, there's not much I need cosplay for. I, I only want it for leveling the uh, the silage bunker. That's all I'm going to use it for on here, really. I think because I mean, there's not that much to actually do on here at some times uh, and even if there is like I've got five fields to mow here today but even if I do that I could do them all by myself pretty easily because they're not very big fields <clears throat> <clears throat> 
so core space not really needed on this map apart from the silage point, uh, silage level <laughs> but on Western Australia yeah, it took me uh, it took me over five minutes just to get to the shop but that's okay because I just set up a course from the farm to the shop and then from the shop to the farm and like I say uh, Johnny was uh, giving me a bit of advice on it earlier <clears throat> on where to put things and that sort of stuff Yeah, it's not. I don't know why it's not telling me the yield on here. So isn't that the. Uh, yeah, it's not telling me the yield. Do I have to change? Yeah. And that's. Uh, I have changed that. Um, so it tells me. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's not the sort I would say. Oh, that is the yield. Okay. It's all right. I was expecting it to change as I was driving over it. <clears throat> yeah, I've got the auto save on. I've got it set to every 15 minutes. And the only reason I've put that on there is because when I was playing on the server, it would uh, it save every half an hour or something. Um, and, oh, well... It'd just jerk a little bit, but, but it was uh, it, it it made sure it saved the progress for me. But obviously, playing in single player. But what I don't understand about the um, the single player save, now it's supposed to save every fifteen minutes, but it only saves if you go into the menu. See, now, if I press that, you can see what it says game saved uh, successfully, right? Now, if I, it's 20, uh, 20 past 9, uh, 9, 7. Um, so, technically, by uh, 7.34, according to that time there now, it should save again but it won't unless we go into the menu which is a bit strange now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try not to go into the menu between now and uh, that time and then open up the tilde key again and just show you that it doesn't actually save. I don't know why it doesn't do that. I think that's a bit weird. <clears throat> I mean, maybe it's an intentional thing, but really, if you think about it, who's going to be opening up their menu um, every 15 minutes? Especially if you're harvesting a field. Um and it's it you you you've been harvesting a field for an hour and it's it doesn't save until you open the menu i mean i might be wrong it might save but i don't think it does well if it does it doesn't give you any notification that it's saving or that it's saved so i don't really know <clears throat> But yeah, if we leave it till about 7.40, I mean, that's like uh, 24 minutes then, isn't it? So, 
that's more than 15 minutes obviously so that should should have saved but I don't think it will oh well I do have some um, some chaff already in the silage bunker and it's not because I was cheating don't worry about that it's because I cut the grass on the cow pasture because I well I did start off doing the um, ooh, where did that go? I did start off doing the uh, sheep pasture just because I wanted to test the course play settings um, and then I realized that I still own the cow pasture and I don't have any cows so I went down there and used that <clears throat> oh and there is one other little thing I bought another little trailer the um, which one was it? Oh, there we go. The Strawman. I bought one of those. Um, I filled. I, I got the eight thousand liter version. I think I filled it up with um, oats, and I left it at the horses. Jake Taylor eight thousand four hundred and eighty four is now following. Welcome to the channel. Jack Taylor, thank you very much for the follow, mate. How are you doing today? <clears throat> Me, I'm doing great, mate, thank you. What about you? <laughs> and what part of the world are you from, mate? See, that's this field done already. <clears throat> but yeah, with the um, with the cow um, cow pasture, I ended up with uh, just over two hundred thousand liters from that in grass. So. But I think that might be because um, I haven't cut it at all yet. And the reason I haven't cut it at all is because well, I forgot all about it. <laughs> so, if I'm perfectly honest, that's the reason I didn't do it. And you know me, I'm always honest. see down there yeah I'm just gonna assume nothing's coming <clears throat> but yeah I'm gonna cut all the grass first and then I'll go around with the wind rower after I mean we're on actually we're actually on a different day from the last time as well 
um, because we were on the last day. Oh, wait there. No, we were on the first day of midsummer. Now we're on the last day of midsummer. Um, and when I slept overnight, I did lose um, I think it was about ten thousand liters or something that was uh, in the silage bunker. <clears throat> but yeah, so we've got this grass field there, and if you look when we go past, see, I've got all that grass, so I didn't cheat it. I know some people might think, oh, you cheated all the, uh, all the stuff in, but no, I cut it fair and square. This one, unfold that one. I want to get as much of this in as I can. And I actually um, learnt somewhat about precision farming the other day from Wonko. He was telling me that um, you can do lime more lime if you need to which i didn't know um as long as you do in different growth stages now this i didn't do that because all as i've been doing is one lot of lime and fertilizing uh several times so yeah i didn't know you could put more than one uh, lot of lime on I don't want to get, I don't really want to cut down all the bushes. I might actually take that, uh, uh, what's it called? Real mowing. I think that's what the mod's called. I might take that off. Because as I was doing the, um, the cow pasture, there were, uh, there were weeds and stuff in the middle of it. And, yeah, I ended up putting them all out <clears throat> so I might take out the real mowing mud if I remember which I probably won't until the next time I'm using the mowers and say oh well, I should have took out the real mowing mud You all know what I'm like anyway, don't you? You get me own name sometimes. <clears throat> don't worry, I'll get that bit. <laughs> When you're turning the corners, I, I, I need to remember, don't turn so fast and turn tighter. That way you don't miss as much. But yeah, I mean, I'm going to put I'm going to put it to the test with um, with this as well because what I'm going to do is after I've cut this, cut all the grass, is obviously they're going to need liming. Well, they may need to have the uh, the field scanned again. I don't know, but we'll see. If it doesn't, we'll just lime it. Then we'll fertilise it. And then on the next growth stage, I'll lime it and fertilize it again. <clears throat> because I did try to put, um, after one car told me that I could put more than one layer of um, 
lying down. I did try on this one, but I couldn't do it because it had already uh, been fully grown, so ready to cut. So, never mind. <clears throat> Which is why I'm not getting a very good yield off it. I mean, I'm getting an okay yield, but, you know. And yeah, on the Western Australia, uh, you actually start off with all of the fields, which, yeah, I think it's a bit pointless. So what I did is I sold some of them, well, most of them. All as I did is I kept the, uh, the five fields across the top, closest to the farm. And sold all the rest. But you do start off with quite a bit of uh, equipment already. But I mean, I'm I'm swapping some of the equipment out and keeping some of it. And I might, might try to use, um, oh, what's it called? Auto drive. I might try to use auto drive on it as well. I mean, it's been a long, long time since I even tr uh, attempted using, uh, auto drive and I can't even remember the name of the map I was doing it on before because I did lots and lots of road, um, courses <clears throat> and hopefully I should still remember how to do them I better get that for us there, otherwise I am going to forget. Yeah. And I've got a question for everybody. Uh, regarding grass now if I cultivate this or plow this field in because it's it's already an original grass field <clears throat> and replant it with grass will I get a better yield or will it be the same anybody know the answer to that one Because if we get more more of a yield, then obviously it's going to be worth um, ploughing it in and uh, well, getting as much yield off it as we can. But I mean, saying that, I, I should find out roughly um, from the field that we have over the road because that was two fields originally uh, two arable fields and I planted those with uh, grass I ploughed them all in, ploughed them together lined them all and planted grass in there myself so we might be able to get like a rough idea <clears throat> because if we look look at the map now I would say this one well these two uh, are roughly the same size as this one a little bit smaller not too much smaller but, um, yeah we'll see what we get off this one and then see what we get off this one well not going to sit there and measure it but 
you know, just as a rough idea. And then we'll be able to make an informed guess, I suppose, on that. <clears throat> And not only that, <coughs> excuse me, uh, not only that, if we do um, plow this field, we'll get rid of that stupid little square. But oh, one second. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Uh, we'll get rid of that stupid little square that's uh, in the middle of the field, which come from I don't know where. <laughs> You see it there, it's frozen. Well, I say we'll get rid of it. Hopefully we can get rid of it. As long as it's not actually part of the field. And yeah, I have noticed that um, it's actually running a lot smoother as well now it's not on a server, the game. So maybe it was the server that was giving me all the problems in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> but it's done now anyway. It's off the server. And there's um, a setting on Steam to save the um, save the save games to a to a cloud. Now I was working on this um, this save game. I don't know until about twelve o'clock last night, um, and I saved it. And um, I looked at the uh, the cloud settings on Steam, and it says, "Yeah, it's, it's ticked." So I'm like, "Okay," and come back to it this morning, um, and the same game wasn't there, and I don't know why. Um, so I had to disable the save game setting. Um, now I'm not sure if that one that I clicked was actually because it said uh, something about synchronizing um, save uh, save games across computers. So I'm not sure if that's actually the same thing as saving the save games. You know, because you, you get like a dedicated page where all your save games are, don't you? So you could, um, you can download them. But luckily, uh, the game saved it um, in the save game backup folder. So all I had to do was, I had to find the correct one for the time that I'd finished. Uh, and put that across. Because I loaded it up and I'm like, no, where's my game? <laughs> <coughs> and I'm like, all that work I've done on here, it took me hours. And now I've lost it, but I didn't. Which was good. Right, so now, see, so 7.40. So that's been like 30, uh, what was it, 24 minutes? Now if we click on, oh it does say save games, game save successfully. Ah, okay. So if I open up the menu. Ah, okay, there you go. <coughs> I didn't know it did. But you didn't get, I didn't get any notification or anything saying that that it had been saved. See, because every time I open up the menu, usually it comes up and says, uh, saving content, please wait. 
So I thought that was the only time it saved. <clears throat> See, learn something new. Yeah, and the weather down here in Birmingham today has been a bit weird. It's been raining most of the day. I mean, it's warmish, it's not cold. Um, or I'm saying that sitting in here with two computers running. But it's not cold. Um, but it's been raining all day and it's been really, really windy all day as well. <clears throat> Which is probably why my allergies are not suffering today. The winds blew all the pollen somewhere else. Good. <laughs> oh, just a little bit there. I'll get that next time. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll try to get as close as I can to the edge of the mower so it's uh, less less driving around on the field but I think I might just start overlapping it slightly <coughs> uh, Graham or Porsche Which one are you? Are you uh, definitely Graham? I am alive. Yeah, that was a bit, um, bit of a weird message I got there. It was a bit cold, weren't it? <clears throat> okay, man. Yeah, because I well I got that message and. Um, another message saying this is definitely Porsche the real one I'm like okay <laughs> and then I had to scroll up to read the second message I'm not because I didn't see that one at first okay mate just finishing off a job on Euro truck oh, okay okay See, we're uh, not very long in now. We've already done, alm almost done, two fields. Yeah, and I, I don't lift the uh, the mowers anymore when I'm turning round, and the reason for that is because um, if I do miss anything, I can always uh, catch it that way. <clears throat> but yeah, I do try to uh, get as much of it as I can. Well, I try to get all of it if I can. But that doesn't always work. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is just slightly overlap a little. And then that way should be uh, good to go. I hope me going round in circles like this is not making anybody dizzy. Yeah, I don't know where that square patch came from. Weird. 
<clears throat> but it won't be there for much longer. This is film number two done. Oh, it cuts going backwards as well. I didn't actually realise that. Okay, lift up bones. Gonna lift up for me? No. Huh? One, please. Thank you. <laughs> Sitting here having to beg the things to load the fold up. Now it's it's my button box. I think I need a new one. <clears throat> hey Gizmo, I wasn't expecting me on tonight. Uh, why it's Monday? It's one of my usual streaming days. I mean, if I could um, see the grandchildren and stuff, I wouldn't be streaming today because it's my grand my one granddaughter's second birthday today. So I wouldn't have been streaming. Uh, actually, we don't need to close that game. But um, because we can't see them, then, you know, I'm here. <clears throat> yeah, if we start about here. See, I don't want to get too much of this one, just like... Because I want to, I want to leave the um, the bushes in there if I can. Uh, bank holiday thought you would be queuing on coast somewhere for fish and chips. <laughs> now I'm just gonna wait until it's all sorted. You know, before that, before I go anywhere, because. You never know, we might even be in for another wave of the stuff, so I'm staying close to home. <clears throat> but the, the only fish and chips uh, near the coast anyway is uh, Harry Ramsden's up in Blackpool they're the only ones worth it <laughs> I like Harry Ramsden's fish then again saying that I haven't had any for a number of years now so they might not be as good as they used to be <clears throat> but they used to be really really good and you would queue for it, you do queue for hours for them. But I mean, saying that, it's uh, it's bank holiday and the weather's been complete rubbish, in it? But it has down in Birmingham anyway. I don't know what it's like in the rest of the UK, but down here, it's absolute rubbish weather. <clears throat> been raining gale force winds all day as well so you know not nice yeah i'll lift that one because i don't want to go too close i don't want to go too close in there <coughs> 
sensible, but walking the dog over the woods is deserting like it was before it all started. Yeah. Yeah, because all them, all them people who wanted to go out and get some exercise, they they don't want to anymore, do they? <laughs> Especially if it's raining. People don't like going out in the rain. <clears throat> I don't mind the rain as long as it's not absolutely hammering it down. Or it's um, or if it's windy because you know I like it. I don't mind. I don't mind going out in like a light drizzle or something. <clears throat> but if it, if it's uh, if it's too wet, you can't you can't really appreciate the scenery, can you? And apart from that it starts getting cold because you, you you're wet and cold and then you start getting miserable and then you're like that nah, going home Ah, Gizmo, you might know the answer to this. You know, um, these grass fields I have. Well, you see that one over over there. That what? That's uh, that's originally a grass field. Now, if I plow that in and um, plant grass of my own, like I did on this field, will I get a better yield from it, or will it just be the same as? if it was uh, a normal grass field. Uh, weather's not being bad, it only started raining late this afternoon, so they've gone to pubs and garden centres. Yeah, but they have to sit outside, don't they? <laughs> I mean, come on, you must be really desperate for a... For a for a pie and a pint if you if you're sitting outside and it's chucking it down with rain <laughs> i mean because here it's been really bad we've had gale force winds and it's been hammering down with rain so but hopefully tomorrow it's uh meant to be uh a little better then again it couldn't be any worse <laughs> you get better yield off anything you can fertilize well the um, the grass fields that were already grass fields on the on the map you can fertilize them anyway See, because I just wanted to know. Well, you see that field there. I can, I can fertilize that them fields. I have fertilized them. They should be fully fertilized. Um, but what I wanted to do is um, plow them in and then just plant the grass myself. But if it's not worth it, because. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. If it's not worth it um, yield wise, then I might not bother doing it because, you know, it's uh, it's extra work and it costs more money. But saying that, I don't think they've been ploughed. I don't think any of them have been ploughed. I think they all need ploughing. Well, the edges need plowing. <laughs> uh, 
but yeah so they don't need plowing at the minute but plowing will add 10% yeah 10% for the plowing so you don't think it's going to be worth actually replanting the fields See, because th this field here that I'm doing now, this used to be an arable field. Well, it was two arable fields in one. And I uh, I planted grass in there myself. And this one was ploughed and um, fertilised and limed and all the rest of it. <coughs> Ah, so plow them once that once they need plowing, do them then, and then replant them. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I got ya. Because, uh, well, it's three, uh, is it three cuts? I think it's three cuts that you need. Um, uh, then it needs plowing. So really, in seasons, it's probably just like once every one and a half years or something. Because you only get two cuts, don't you, in uh, seasons, I think. Uh, you should get maximum yield if you fertilize. and line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because uh, I'm using precision farming as well, you can see the yield I'm getting at the bottom. And the dot green is 100%. Uh, and then it goes, well, for show you. See, that's the 125%, I'm sorry, not 100%. So, see, that's 125% in them bits. Then we've got little bits there that are 115. And what's that? Is that 85? So, 85% for this bit. And, yeah, 100% for that bit. Oh, it's got a three-year cycle for plowing. Okay, okay. Well, I, I know, like in the in the base game without seasons, I think it's every three three harvests or three cuts of the grass. Great demand at the supermarket for what? Eggs. Right, so I ain't got any. <laughs> Romy, we we'll uh, we'll fo we'll find out how long the plowing cycle is anyway, because. When it needs plowing, I'll plow it, and then we'll see how long it goes after that. Oh yeah, um, I think it's corn, sugar cane, and potatoes. I think they need plowing straight away, don't they?
and maybe sugar beets as well. Yeah, one. Well, oh, you're going that way, and you're going to stop and wait for me now. Thank you. Are you bipping your all for you stopped? I didn't make you stop. Bipping his horn at me. I didn't make him stop. Uh, cold potato, sugar beet, sugar cane. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought that's what they. Uh, it was that that lot. But yeah, I'll, uh, when I'm in here now, I'll show you my uh, my new silage bunker. See, we've got this one here. See, all that chaff there, which is... 210,000 litres or something. Uh, oh, 201,000. Um, all that came from the, the cow pasture. And I've had coarse play uh, on there. Shop it, um, leveling it off for me. And it works great. Uh old dusty mind oh yeah mate how you doing today uh poor sure the story from the horse's mouth if you wish yeah it was uh it was, I, I've, I've only just read both of the um the uh the comments you know when i when i went on to change my um screen uh stream title and I, I read the one comment, which was yours, uh, the second time. And I thought, why is she saying that? And then I had to scroll up because the, uh, the other comment was above it. So I scrolled up and I'm like, uh, okay. I was a bit weirded out. <laughs> so, uh, the live so I come see, uh, I so, so how you live so I came to see how he's yeah. he's I, I'm not sure what that sentence means mate but yeah uh, everybody's welcome here woke up yesterday went straight to grab and asked that uh, what the smell was okay And what was it? Ooh, too close to the wall! <laughs> so, Dusty Mind, what part of the world are you in, mate? Uh, I said, uh, then I did none of the smell. Ah, right. Okay, okay, okay. So that's uh, that's what she was doing. I am f I'm funny. Uh, oh, you mean you saw that I went live, and you come to see. Uh, how it's going? Ah, right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think that message got a little, little bit lost in translation, mate. But yeah, I'm doing really good, thank you. Now I get what you mean. Uh, you ended up fighting with her and throw her through her out. Well, yeah, I don't blame you. 
with that sort of thing going on. You know, because at the end of the day, if she wants to do that, do it in her own house. Do you know what I mean? It's uh, it's not on doing it in somebody else's house. Well, I mean, you know, at least without asking permission first. Do you know what I mean? And then if you say no, then she don't do it. I should try you should try to change the password on Twitch. Yeah. Well, for obvious reasons, yeah, but that message she, she sent to me that was a bit cold. <clears throat> Cuz I mean, if she hadn't managed to save your uh, um, change your password um, that would have been the last message I got and I wouldn't have uh, I wouldn't have known any better yeah the uh, the Autobot got uh, caught hold of that one <laughs> but yeah I, I can read it so I know, I know exactly what you mean it's not a nice thing to do is it it's not a nice thing to do have you actually changed your password for Twitch now. Well, yeah, she may be. She may be. Two factor authentication. Yeah, I always have that on. I have that on everything. Everything that I can put it on, I've got it on. First time you've used it? Oh, I'm always using it. I swear by his I do. That's the one thing I recommend for anybody to use. Well, as long as they have a mobile phone, obviously. Because if you ain't got a mobile phone, you can't use it. But then again, who hasn't got a mobile phone nowadays? I got an invite on Steam. Did I? From whom? I thought we were already Steam friends. Yeah, because um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm sure we were, but then again, it. Steam and Twitch and um, YouTube, they always do things like that. They'll unsubscribe people on YouTube. You know, if you if you haven't been on a certain um, member of your subscription list, if you haven't been on their channel for a while, they'll unsub you. Um, but then they'll leave others that you haven't been on for years. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And Steam's always unfriending people. Um, Twitter does the same. It unfollow uh, they unfollow you. You know, it's just 
Excuse crazy. Troy Step Milan says, do, do I know Nick Gurr? He's your friend. No, I, I don't know anybody by that name, mate. I don't know why the Autobot caught that, though. <laughs> but, yeah. But, yeah, I, I don't know anybody by that name. How are you doing today, anyway? Yeah, it's a bit weird that the Autobots... Uh... Ah, okay. I think I probably know why, because it sounds... When you say it out loud, it sounds... Yeah, sounds like another word. Maybe that's what the Autobot um, was thinking, I don't know. <laughs> 